Hey everybody, what's up? Pike Snail 6 day here once again. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus. Last time, we got a few more keys over in the other half of Prowling the Grounds. Uh, just roll on over to no, that. Never mind. And we also opened the electric fence that, were, that was blocking our way to the other half. This time... We need to get all seven of the treasure keys, and wouldn't you know it, we only need to get two more. Oh. Good job, Sly. Uh, and there's only two levels in this area, so this episode, we'll be finishing those up. Okay, that was weird. Don't even know what Rabbi is saying. Oh, come on! Hey, I beat your fucking belly like you did something important. Oh my god. I did the same thing twice. <sighs> All right, then. AC is coming on. I mentioned I was terrible at this game, didn't I, guys? Okay, just making sure. That was a bitch-ass move. You couldn't even blame that one on me if you hit me. See, like, not get super loud, please. I can stop a fish tank, guys. I can't stop an air conditioning unit. Fuck it. Okay, I'm not the only one that noticed that, was I? What the hell are these things supposed to be anyway? Metroids? What they look like? Okay. He was able to hit me before he even... Okay. 
Or, okay, he didn't hit me. He at least attempted to, but still. You guys get what I'm going with it. Something down there with that asshole. I keep thinking textures are going to load in before I remember that this is a 2002 game, so texture popping in didn't exist yet. So it just defers by level. Okay. Why did I go this way? His ancestors had that. That's amazing. Alright. And now, one final level. notice that this does not have the safe or the uh, time trial on it. You'll see why in a moment. So yeah, basically we just need to go around and uh, destroy both the chests and the crabs. Of course, right as I say, this is really easy. Yeah, there's exactly 40 chests, so there's no room for failure. Oh, there's no margin, at least.
Also, just noticed that those two chests were stacked on each other. Okay. Also, I love how there was no animation for getting the key while we were down there. Okay. Grab this extra life over here. And now, it's time to make our final move on Rally. Who is turning and firing this cannon is what I want to know. The Eye of the Storm. Oh shit, what up? Well, damn. Oh, shit. What up? I already made that joke. I don't care. So, for this part of the fight, you just gotta outrun. Take two. Okay, so, for this part of the fight, you just have to outrun Depp. I mean, Raleigh. Uh, I think he has to land five times and he'll shrink down to normal size. Uh, try to be on the same platform he's on when he lands, though. That way you can get the hit in on him. Three, four, five. Yeah, it's five. So now every platform except the one you're on is going to drop and you just got to avoid him on the one. Four and five. Get wrecked. Uh, he takes four hits, if I'm reading that correctly. Okay, now, whatever platform he lands on will sink. Except for, like, the last one he lands on, of course. Okay, and now he's just going to twirl around with his tongue and you got to avoid it until he shrinks back down and then finish him. Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. Okay. And that was it for Tide of Terror. Um, so we finished up 
everything we had to do in that level in this episode, except for the time trials, which I will get around to doing later at some point. Uh, but yeah, uh, next time, well, okay, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give me a like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you want to stay up date about things. And next time, we'll be heading to Mesa City, Utah to take down Mugshot. See you guys then. Also, that's a weird depiction of Greenland on the map. And no Iceland either. And Australia looks like Africa. And there is no Antarctica. Okay, I'm done. See you guys then.